launching a new series on our blog called Faces of Plant Cell Biology. This will feature a short interview with various plant cell biologists. Today I'm going to be asking a few questions to Pat Tesla Parison. Question <laughs> 1. What is your research about? My major interest is in the organisation of the plant genome and how it has evolved to give the current structure. I'm fortunate in having quite a diverse research program centred around plant genomes and their evolution, but moving towards the fundamental mechanisms of evolution, the way that the genes interact, that is, systems biology of those genomes, and a heavy part of it is to do with evolution, crop diversity, and the exploitation of that crop diversity for improvement and for development aspects. While many people are interested in looking at the genes, I'm particularly interested in the components of the genome which make up the major bulk of all of the DNA, that is the repetitive DNA. I'm also interested in the organisation of that DNA and its evolution in a comparative and phylogenetic context. It's now clear that in the evolutionary history of many species of plants there are polyploidy events or whole genome duplications and of course that's also part of the amplification and multiplication of genome sizes. What is the best and worst thing about your work? I think the best thing is the new insights that we're getting into addressing long-standing questions about plant evolution and the way that we're now able to put that understanding of evolutionary changes in genomes into generating new varieties of crops and understanding the interactions between plants and their environment and other genes. Speaking more personally, the second thing that's wonderful about my job is working with people from around the world, from the students, from universities, from research institutes, and of course the farmers and policy makers that also use the outcomes of our research. How did you become a plant scientist? I think like many students, I've always been interested in plants, but at school I studied maths, physics and chemistry rather than any of the biological sciences. However, I went to an open day at the then Plant Breeding Institute in Cambridge and that really made me want to work on the fundamental understanding of plants, and particularly crops and at that time wheat. And over the next 10 years I've worked through being an undergraduate and then a graduate student at PBI and that led to on into my current work with, plant, with plants and their genomes. It's been a very exciting time because of course this is when the molecular biology has become available and more recently the genome sequences and I think that our interests have complemented those of the pure molecular biologists interested in omics technology, genomes, proteins, sequences and so forth and we've got a different area of looking at the whole genome through the microscope, largely using the molecular cytogenetics techniques that I was talking about in the first question. So, what do you do to get your mind off work? Work? I don't think I've ever done any work. But my mind is continuously thinking about different aspects of the plant sciences. I always choose if I go walking, I'm always looking at the environment and the plants around me. And of course down in the lab, what can be more fun than looking at the microscope? What advice would you give to students? I think the major thing that I would say to students is read. Read everything. Read journal articles read in the newspapers. So many of the major issues, whether that's climate change, whether that's human health, whether that's development, are all related to plant sciences and I think that we can address many of those issues through the fundamental research and thinking about the ways that it can be applied. Well, thank you very much for answering all those questions. Thank you, William, and I look forward to seeing how Anna Sturida will con convert this into her blog.